I really need a tote. Help me decide which one is best. Here are my favorite ones. Before we get started, if you guys been here before, you know that I just love handbags. I don't know what it is. I just can't have enough. I love contemporary, I love designer, I love anything that speaks to me. We love doing hauls, comparisons, reviews. And if you guys love content like that and love handbags as much as I do, I release two videos per week. Please consider subscribing. And yeah, let's just hop in to today's video. Now, today's video is all about designer tote bags. And I just have a short list of ones that I personally really been loving and wanted to share with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. And stay tuned to the end. I do have a little announcement I wanted to share with you guys and explain why I'm looking for this tote bag. But hopping in to bag number one is the Celine Cabas tote right over here. Let's be real, I love this tote because it's gorgeous. You guys know, if you follow me, I have this obsession when it comes with tree off anything. The tree off on the Celine just speaks to me and I love it and I feel like what better way to have it than on a tote. I know it's a basic tote, but I do think the price point is reasonable for designer bag. Keep in mind, reasonable for designer, they're all pricey. Um, per se, but this one is under 2000. I want to say it's like 16 or 1800 around there. I'll drop it over here. But what's great about this is it matches with everything. I think it can be used in a winter. It can be used in the summer. What I would do, I don't think there's much organization. It might be like an inside pocket, but that's it. Um, but I would just drop an insert in there to help me keep organize. You guys know I like to organize by pouches and things anyways. I still think it would totally work and I definitely love the aesthetics overall. I don't actually see that many people wear it out. So for that reason, I like it even more. Um, as much as I love bags like the Neverfull or like the Dior Book Toe, I do see those out often. Um, whereas with Celine Cava's Toe, I haven't seen that one a lot. So I just think it's such a gorgeous bag. Number two is this Prada Crochet Tote. Now, I've been obsessed with this like look since since this bag launched. And I know it was like the summer it bag. All the influencers had it. I thought it was just so cute. But I definitely don't think it's worth that 2000 something mark. Because if you feel it in person, as beautiful it is in photos and, it, you know, when you wear it, it just is like a really thin material. It feels quite cheap, to be honest. And I just don't think it's worth that price. But they do have another version of it over here, which is also like the crochet look, but it's thicker. So I feel like it has more substance to it, whereas you can put more in there and probably not have to deal with as much wear and tear. Um, I haven't actually obviously put anything in the bag to try out, but I would like to go to the stores to look at it. I do think it's absolutely gorgeous. And again, like I just think this looks so chic with any outfit and it would need an organizer as well um, or something in there, you know, because again, I don't even think this one has inside pockets. I think it's just like one big tote with nothing in it. However, Again, I just love it because I just think it looks so good. Number three is a bag I've always had kind of on my list and that's the, the Goyard Artos bag. Now I could totally be butchering it. I apologize. If you guys know how to pronounce it, let me know in the comments below, but it's this bag over here. Now, this one is just like a classic. It is a perfect Goyard tote. And you guys know green, obviously, because I'm obsessed with green. Um, but it is definitely, to me, the best color in the Goyard family. I love this one more so than a St. Louis tote. I did have a St. Louis tote years back, but fortunately, my bunny chewed it up, so I had to get rid of it. But this one is coated so there's definitely more durability when it comes to it not to mention there's a zipper on the top and i don't think there is like the pouch like the other one does but it does have like an inside pocket so it kind of like evens out i like the saint louis for the pouch because you can use it for other purposes but 
This one overall, I just feel like the quality is better. I know with my other St. Louis bag, the paint would chip because it is hand painted. The color does come off. And for some reason, my handle on the St. Louis, the leather just wore not very well over time. This one, although I never owned it, I feel like it, the material is thicker, would last longer. I do really like this one. And I do, I think out of the ones mentioned so far, this one would be probably the easiest to use because of the size and just the simplicity of it. Um, so I don't know, but I do really like this one. Next one on the list is the Chloe Woody Tote, not the... So originally they, there's this one, but I actually love this one, which is like this green and peach color. I went to the Chloe boutique to look at it when I was in Vegas. I do think it is so, so, so cute. Um, however, again, the, there's not much inside. It's just, I think like on the back, there is like a inside like inner pocket. But other than that, you would need to put an insert in there. But I think the price point is pretty good. It ranges from like $1,200 to $1,500 for like the medium size. And I think that's okay, you know? And I feel like the Chloe totes are pretty durable. As much as like the original one, I feel like that one would get dirty. Because totes, you know, it will go on the floor. It's just how it is. It's bigger, right? A lot of times we go to the park with it or we go to work with it, we'll set it on the floor and obviously the bottom gets dirty. So I don't think I can get a light colored version of that. I feel like if I did, I would have to be the green or something darker. Um, so the, you know, it doesn't get as dirty quick as quickly, but I think you can still wipe it down. Last one on my list is the Chanel Duville tote. Now this one is the priciest one out of the entire list. This one runs, you know, I want to say it's, 35 to 4,500 Chanel. I don't even know the new prices. They keep on doing increases. Maybe it's even like 5,000 now. I actually have no idea. But I do know like if I were to pick up this, I could probably pick it up through like Fashion File or something. And this one retails on Fashion File and you go from 35 to four something. So maybe it's five something now, Chanel probably. I probably totally wrong. Let me know if you know. Let me know in the comments below. Um, but I mean, it's a Chanel bag. It's beautiful. It is so cute. The DeVille has so many different designs to choose from. I wouldn't even know which one because there's so many good ones. To be honest, I probably want something fun. I probably wouldn't want something super neutral if I were to get the DeVille just because I feel like you got to go all out, you know, when you get this bag. It's just so cute in its own way that you want to have like design and you want to have color and things like that. So I would probably pick a fun one. I do actually really um, like that bag. But again, it's just the price point that I think is a lot because at the end of the day, it's still just tote and it's made out of canvas. Do we really want to pay for the $5,000 for that? <laughs> but other than that, it's beautiful nonetheless. So I would say out of the five bags, these are all like bags I've been researching, looking at, narrowing down, trying to figure out like what tote would be best for me. I need to probably go revisit them again, try them on, and then really try to imagine what the things I need to carry and how it would work, you know, for my everyday. Because at the end of the day, as cute as they are, I wanted to be functional. So yeah, that is my list. And before you guys go, I wanted to do a quick little announcement um, because sometimes I do get comments or questions and things like that. So I wanted to share the reason I've been searching for the perfect tote is because I am going to be having a little one. I know there's like tons of, I don't want to use the word diaper bag because I just don't want to carry like a diaper bag around. And I know there's so many out there in the contemporary market or just like bags that are specifically made for baby bags, diaper bags. But I don't know, like I just really want the, 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 handbag lover and me just wants like a designer bag what i'll probably do is i'll have like a baby bag that i can literally shove and throw a lot of things in and then i'll have like a secondary bag which will be one of these bags i just listed to like host other stuff so i'll probably switch between two but you know like i still want to have a cute bag when i'm going out and things like that i just think that it's something that will make me happy i'm sure my baby will love it now i am in my second trimester so i still have you know a while to go but at the same time it's a 
like why not start planning early for everything, right? It just helps it a little bit. Um, and yeah, I'm just on the search for the perfect tote bag. So for those of you that were wondering or asking me, um, yes, it's because I am pregnant and just taking it day by day, but hopefully my little girl will love handbags as much as I do and I can share all my fun handbags with her and that would just be the best thing ever. So. That is pretty much it, you guys. That is my video. Thank you so much for sticking through. Like always, you guys are the best. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.